Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Earning Our Stripes. I am Brock Gooden with a, a better voice than I had on Big Time Talkers this past week. Benjamin Duncan. Uh, we went to a game this past week. We did. Full vlogs available on Ben's channel. Mm-hmm. Um, you... You already know what's happened by now at this point. It's It's been beaten to death. We're not going to go too in-depth on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I guess one part of it that we could go into depth about is that um, Harrison Meavis was perfect on the day. Yes, that is a positive. He is still 100% on the year. So... And he scored half of our team's points. I mean, that's a good thing, but also bad. But he's he's still an amazing kicker. 28-point losses are not fun, especially when you're there in the stadium in the visitor section. And we did throw more passing yards than they did. Uh, I caught a punt in the pregame. This I we, wish I wish I'd gotten a video of you catching that, but it was just so fast I didn't even see it coming. Yeah, um, I'm doing everything I can to try and avoid talking about this game. And oh, we, we ran more plays than they did. Again, not helping, Ben. We didn't fumble the ball, but they did. Again, not helping, Ben. Okay. <clears throat> On to our next game, though. I guess. Because. <sighs> it was already announced that Cook will be starting at quarterback again this week. So. Uh. So, Ben's hope of a Sam Horn starting not happening. Uh, why? It is what it is. Uh, Tigers fall to one and one. Again, I'm trying my damnedest to not talk about this game. Yeah. Because I know plenty of Mizzou fans are mad about it. I know I'm pretty mad about it. But, uh... This next game is looking like, uh, it looks like, uh, we will do very well, hopefully. Uh, as of right now, three of Mizzou's biggest rivals all have better records than them. Kansas is undefeated. Illinois is 2-1. and one. And Arkansas is undefeated. Man, why did Mizzou football tweet "O and one mentality" or "one and O mentality"? What is this? Uh, each week you start out like it's the first game of the week, like first game of the year. Man, I wish. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have to temper our. <laughs> we have to temper how excited we were about the team going forward. Now, Ben, after this uh, predictions at the beginning of the year. I said they'd be eight and four. You said they'd be nine and three. Would you like to change those at all? Wait, I said nine and three. Yes, you did. Oh God. Mizzou Man, has I, I was, the number. Hang on, hang on. Mizzou is the number one ranked team of the nation. The number eighteen ranked team of the nation. Number nine team ranked in the nation. The number fifteenth ranked team in the nation, and the number ten ranked team in the nation still on the schedule. How many games we play total this season? Twelve, the same we play every year. Let's see. Yeah, I'd like to switch that to uh, five and seven. Jesus.
You have no faith in this team, huh? After seeing what happened this past weekend, yeah. I'm going to say 7-5. and five. Because for whatever reason, we it seems like we always upset Florida in Gainesville. Don't know why. And then I have a feeling we'll get either Kentucky or Tennessee. Hopefully Tennessee while we're there. But that'd be sick. That'd be nice. But Oh, I'm scared seeing you know, all these numbers next to all these teams we're playing. Uh, this is the second week in a row that Mizzou will play a team with Willie the Wildcat as their mascot. Real original names there. At least this one has a full suit on and not just a head. Yeah, it's, at least it's not an anthropomorphic human with a cat head. Yeah, you were really harping on Willie about that. And his, his push, Willie's push-ups were trash. Yeah, they were more dips. Yeah, I mean, I get it with the the big massive head. And not being able to go down all the way because he would put the nose into the ground. Yeah, but you can still do. Yeah. Um, thankfully, as it currently sits, Mizzou is not the uh, worst team in the SEC. Oh, thank goodness. As both Florida and South Carolina lost their conference games this week. Thank you, Arkansas oh, right. and Kentucky. <laughs> So as it currently sits, Mizzou is, uh, well, depending on how you look at the conference standings, either, hang on, could, so here's how the East shakes out currently. First place, sole possession of first place, because they only they have the only win in the conference play so far, is Kentucky at number one. Tennessee and Georgia are tied for second. Fourth is Vanderbilt. Then fifth, Missouri, with Florida and South Carolina tied for sixth. In the West... Arkansas currently leads because they're the only one with a conference win as well. In first. In second, there is a one, two, three, four-way tie between Bama, Auburn, Mississippi State, and Old Miss, with LSU and AM rounding at the bottom. So Oh man, that AM loss makes me so happy. Well, listen, we're not talking about them right now. <laughs> we talked about them on big time. Well, you and Tommy talked about them on Big Time yes. Talkers. So we, is, don't, we don't play them this year anyways. Uh, which is unfortunate. Anyway. It is now time to break down the comparisons between the two teams this year. So, Abilene Christian comes into this game undefeated 2-0. However, uh, that's slightly inflated as they've played... Both games at home. Lamar and, and Prairie View a and Yes. So this is their lone FBS team that they will play this year. Uh, if you're interested, Mizzou fans, of going to this game, tickets go for as low as $17 right now. That's looking great. So It is an 11 a.m. game, though, so be ready for early mornings, folks. On SEC Network Plus, translation, uh, you can't really watch your Tigers. Quarterback Unless comparison. You quarterback comparisons for you. Brady Cook so far this year, 33 for 54, 329 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions. Four, Abilene Christian Wildcats. Maverick Mickover, great name. 42 of 72. 483 passing yards, four touchdowns, three interceptions. Then, if you will, the running back comparisons. Or the top running back comparisons, I should say. See, for Abilene Christian? Or for both. Eight. For both. Because um, I'm looking to, at who Mizzou is, and that's kind of sad. I need stats. Where are they at? I got you. 
For Missouri, it's still Brady Cook. 20 carries, 117 yards, and a touchdown. For the Abilene Christian Wildcats, it's Rovon Banks Jr. 25 rushing attempts, 85 yards, no touchdowns. So, uh, Brady Cook is the leading rusher for Mizzou right now. <sighs> I I think that tells you more all, all you need to know right there, that he's currently leading the team in rushing yards. By 30 yards, by the way. The next closest is Cody Schrader. Who did score a touchdown. Again, I said we're not talking about that game. Your leading wide receiver for the Missouri Tigers is Dominic Lovett. Nine interceptions, 142 passing, or my bad, 142 yards receiving for Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian. It's Kendall Callanton who has 11 receptions, 162 yards, and one receiving touchdown. He also did previously play for Alabama. Really? Yes. Or Arkansas, I can't tell. Hang on. Well, that just says Southern. But he's wearing an SEC jersey in his picture. So. Ah, he was an Arkansas Razorback. There it is. Last year. So. That is your comparisons for this game. Ben, anything you have before we uh, go into our predictions? Um, well, I will say that um, the scores for them facing Lamar and Prairie View A and M uh, were actually very close, or for the most closer than I would have thought for the most part, making me have hope for this game that we should be able to beat them. Because uh, they beat uh, Lamar 28-14, and then Prairie View A&M 21-13. Lamar, so, ladies and gentlemen, I, played, I have hope. Lamar, ladies and gentlemen, played uh, SMU last week and lost 45-16. So, there's your reference. So, what about a Prairie View a and Who did they play their game one? Well, I will check for you. They've, I don't even know if they've played a uh, FBS yet. They have not. Their FBS will not happen. They don't have one. So Prairie View A&M will not play in FBS. Well, not so I, I have hope for us for this game. You have what? Hope for us? Oh, I have oh. I have some I have hope that we can do well this game. I'm glad you do. So it is now time for the over under. A new staple that we have here at on earning our stripes, Ben. Over under Brady Cook passing yards. Are you ready? I'm ready. Over under 110 passing yards for Brady Cook. Over. All right. Over under Brady Cook yet, yet again. Rushing yards. Are you ready, Mr. Ben? I am ready. Over under 60 rushing yards. Oh, 
Over. Over? All right. He has hit over once this year on rushing yards. I was debating about it for rushing yards, and I was just like, eh, sure, why not? Luther Burden, over under. Oh, this is kind of sad that I'm going to say this. Over under ten pa- or ten rece- receiving yards. Over under ten over. He's only got twenty in his career. We'll stick with him. Well, no, we won't because it's still not that great. It's just depressing when you look at it now from Mizzou. Over under Mizzou overall, two takeaways. What was that? Over under overall, two takeaways for the Tigers. Over. Over under passing yards, or my bad, passing touchdowns combined for the Tigers, three. Under. I have the same feeling. And finally, over under for Abilene Christian, 20 points. Over. Yeah. Yeah. So it is now time for our predictions for this game. Ben, you want to go first? Mm. Well, looking at uh, ACU's scores for the games they've played, and then, like, it seems that they are, because they've scored 21 in one game and 28 in another, and then for us, we had 52, and then we had... Twelve. What was last week? Twelve. So it's um, it's, I feel like it's more easy to predict th- what number they're gonna have compared to what we're gonna have. But I'd say probably, um, I'll go thirty-five twenty-one us. Uh, I don't like how close that is because this is an FCS team and we did blow out an FBS team. I mean, that's still two touchdowns that we'd be beating them by. Yeah, that's still too close and not a good look for the rest of the season. If that happens, I... I would think we'd only beat New Mexico State the rest of the year, and that's it. Maybe a win over South Carolina or Vanderbilt. Or Auburn. We'll see how Auburn plays against Penn State this week. Yeah. Um, But I I still believe in this team. I still think we're going to go to a ball game. I, I, I have hope that we go to a bowl game. I have hope. So with that being said, I will say the final will be 42, mm, 45. Because I think that Mevis is going to kick at least one field goal. Nah, screw it. Final score, 40. He kicks four field goals. Or, yeah, four field goals. And uh, Abilene scores 17. So, 40 to 17. Okay. Is my prediction. Ben has 35 21. I have 40 to 17. Hopefully Mizzou exceeds our expectations that we've placed upon them and shuts out Abilene Christian and scores like 79 like they did against Delaware State a few years ago. That would be so nice. 
It it would be nice. Yeah, it'd be great. But as as I keep saying, and I said all during the K State game when the K State fans were uh, heckling us and such, it it's Missouri. This is nothing new to us. Yeah. Sad as it is, it's Missouri. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Well, do you have any updates for band or anything? As of recording this Wednesday night, we will be performing halftime at the Chiefs-Chargers game at Arrowhead Thursday night football for... Mm -hmm. Opening kickoff in Arrowhead this season. The day this goes live, Ben will be in Kansas City in marching Mizzou gear in a sold out stadium. Performing halftime. Just not for a team wearing black and gold. Yes. <laughs> and funny enough, I have Justin Herbert as my starting quarterback in one of my other fantasy football leagues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, best of luck to you tomorrow. Yes. Uh, funny enough, we do. We only get six minutes on the field. Of course you do. Because, well, it's just with, with all the different stuff they do during halftime and whatnot. Yeah. Um, we've been given six minutes, and we will be performing Saturday night. We'll be performing Saturday by Elton John. Then um, I'm Still Standing by Elton John. So basically, most of our most of the halftime show that we did for the game against um, our, our first game of the season. Then, um, yeah, so we're performing Saturday, uh, I'm Still Standing. And then we'll perform... The fight songs and march off the field. I don't know how well received that fight song is going to be. That's going to be a stadium full of K State and Kansas fans. But then I've been told there's supposed to be a bunch of uh, Mizzou alumni at this game. What we've been, that's what we've been told. I wouldn't so. count on it. <laughs> yeah. Or if there are, they're not going to be. Uh, Vocal. They're not going <laughs> to be saying much. Yeah. But uh, can we expect a vlog? Yes, I I know I'll be doing my best to do what I can. Because since uh, we were not given seats for the game, and since we're going to, since we're, we're being there, we're, we're practicing down there on the field before the game. Then we'll be there for the first and second quarters. So I'll see what I can do for that stuff. And then we perform halftime. But from what I know of, after we're done with halftime, we pack all of our stuff up and head back here to Columbia. They should just let you, like, be in one of the end zones just standing there. Shoot, I mean, I'd be fine with that. I could probably catch the ball, too. And then, like, you have to play, like, I don't know, some song. Or, like, you play the Hey song every time the Chiefs score. <laughs> play Hey Baby? <laughs> no, Hey. Rock and Roll Part 2. Oh, okay. You know, Hey, you suck. That song. Ah, okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. But that's too cool for the Chiefs, because, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, your vlog did go live on your channel. It did. And was met by... A lot of K-State fans. Saying lots of things about Mizzou. I mean, there, it was mostly like two specific commenters, but I mean, honestly, I don't let that get to me, and it is what it is. People can say whatever the heck they want online. I don't care. It's a free country, as I always say. America's, you know, the First Amendment's there for a reason, but still. <laughs> Anyway. Hey, there's surprisingly there's only been one person that has commented EMA in all caps on my video. Yeah, yeah, the rest are just detrimental to Mizzou. Yeah. 
But hey, it's almost to a thousand views, so I'll take it. That that is a positive. So maybe that's the that's the most positive, like in terms of generating views from original content on my channel. That's been the best video. Not bad. Maybe you need to promote earning our stripes a little bit more. Maybe we just need to move earning our stripes over there. Honestly. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, as always, we can expect a vlog from you about the Abilene State game. Yes, that will be uh, for sure. Uh, remember to film in landscape. Yes, I will be definitely filming in landscape for from now on going forward. And, I mean, there will probably be a, a few clips here and there that are not in landscape, but for the most part, it will mostly be only in landscape. And that's fine, just as Tommy said, that's a big thing for me and him, so. Yeah. So, uh, this past week on BTT, I had no voice, so it was Ben and Tommy carrying the podcast. That was... But it, it honestly didn't go that bad, so... No, no, it was one of the shorter ones we've done in a long time, which actually was kind of nice to edit. Yeah. Um, it gave me extra time to add in some more bells and whistles. Nice. Yeah, you should go listen to those, including uh, the Miami Dolphins fight song, uh, themes or underlay songs for picks, and uh, fantasy football update, as well as uh, some sound effects for Ben's three things. Ooh, nice. Yeah. It, it's a whip. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking here on, the, I was going to bring it up real fast, but I'm looking on the Missouri Tigers football Wikipedia page. Mm. And apparently, in 1941, being coached by Don Ferro, we went to the Sugar Bowl and we lost to Fordham two to zero. Yeah. Jesus, man, that's bad. There were what a lot happened? Less college football teams back then. Yeah. But yeah, um, Macy Shear put out her episode of CSP for this week. More cryptids, go figure. Go give that a listen. Let's go. Lots of cryptids. She's just doing cryptids from now on. I am okay game. with that. I am too. Actually, last week's, or not this one that just went out, but the one before was the Ozark Howler. Found oh, right yeah. here in Missouri. And... After hearing her talk about it, uh, it just made me want to go try and find it. That might be something we do this summer. Who knows? We do weird things. Maybe. We do weird things here at B-Card Entertainment. Tommy will be putting out We Are Not Enter... Oh, excuse me. We Are Not Entertained. Um, wrestling drama. Lots of wrestling drama. Oh, I bet. Uh, people getting... Suspended for beating each other up in the locker room, and some of them might be executives in a company. That's fun. Uh, oh, geez. <laughs> always great to see when stuff that is not supposed to be seen on the television screens bleeds over into real life. Oh, yeah. So, um, we already talked about Ben's YouTube channel. Ben, where can you be found on Twitter? I can be found. At Elite Tiger Spore One, uh, and if you just search Elite Tiger Sports, you should probably be able to find it. Um, the E, the T, and the S are capital. I can be found at Twitter at Bark Gorton eighty nine. The B and G are capitalized. You can find B Card Entertainment on Twitter at B Card YT. Uh, just found out today, Miss Macy Shear changed her Twitter handle. So, uh, yeah, that was something to try and figure out when I saw that. 
Did you see that, Ben? Well, I saw you guys talking about it, but I'm not sure what she's changed it to. Macy has changed it to... Come on, pull up. At Oh Jesus. Okay. Oh my. Oh my, 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 my. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, Fair Tom, enough. She's not on this podcast to begin with. Nope. <laughs> nope. So, uh, yeah. That's all we have for earning our stripes. I've been Brock Gordon. And I've been Benjamin Duncan. And slowly but surely, even though sometimes it looks like we're not quite doing it, we are earning our stripes. Have a wonderful rest of your week, folks. Stay safe, everybody. M-I-Z. Z-O-U.